Check it out here. There's the house. Someone's just slammed the door and tried to come in. This was the home of a wealthy man and his family. It remains full of their possessions and memories. Although no one has been home in over two decades. Oh my God. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Italy road trip and we've made it inside another abandoned mansion and I've actually been wanting to come here for a little while so I'm super happy we made it inside. There's some untouched rooms in here, a lot of untouched rooms actually. It's strange because the building across the road is no longer an office. That's abandoned as well. Hopefully it doesn't bust our car. Yeah, it should be right. Blow, I'll go up. <laughs> so coming through the front door you can see it's just covered in cobwebs now. You'd be greeted by this hallway and staircase is just there. But we'll have a quick little peep in this room here before we make our way through the house. Massive bathroom. Wow, oh, it stings. It's a little mold. Don't walk on that rug. It's a bit unstable, these floors. Is there a date on this one? 1992. Yeah, it must be like a lot of water in this room somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's a staircase, this actually goes up and down because we're actually quite high up now. Into this main room, and this is actually the billiards room. It used to be the gaming room, but look, the whole roof has fell down onto the table and destroyed it. Yeah. <laughs> 29, 30, 31. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that German cup. It's scary walking on this floor, you know? Yeah, that's probably not good. Okay. Old hat and fireplace. Beautiful stonework. Carving on the fireplace. Nice old. 60s sort of style lamp. And here's the balcony. Massive back garden goes on for ages. Go into this little one. This is a little bedroom. It's a little single bed in here. Look, probably a boys' room. He's doing weights. It's got like a girl's calendar on there. Don't put your back out. So, it's not just me being weak, Sam just tried to pick that up and he did say the guy must have been oh, really strong. I had caught a bicep cut. <laughs> there was a meathead living here. Whoa, this floor, man. This floor's scary, it really is. I guess we make our way around this way now. Into all these little off rooms. This way heads to the other part of the house, so we'll just do the, these rooms first. This one's actually empty. Wow, look at that, fully furnished bedroom. It smells old in here, like old wood, musky, muskiness. There's a lot of teddy bears in here. Looks like an old painting of Venice maybe. Some religious artwork as well. 
And this creepy looking teddy is some like deformed elephant. Oh damn. Everything's left in here. It's a massive order. All the bags and stuff. Look at that cobweb up there, man. <laughs> Jesus. I haven't checked this door yet. Oh wow. Another bedroom. Wow. It's like a, a French bedroom. Bed. That green cup is lovely. Yeah, it's like a Japanese silk bed in it, I'm like. Look at this wardrobe there. Oh, that is the biggest bee's nest I've ever seen in my life. Someone's just opened the window and ruined it. Imagine that. Imagine if they opened it when they were in there trying to get into the building. There was a band in their little home, wasn't there? All of the ladies' perfumes left behind. They're really nice. Yeah. Some magazines over here. Oggy. Where's the date? Let's see one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow, the ceiling in here is insane. Oh, wow, look at the whole room. That's beautiful. What a scene. An abandoned scene. Wow. A family picture here. It's nice with like church bells, that's boring. Yeah. It's like the whole town's at church and they're all parked outside the church. Oh yeah, they were. Right outside this building as well. <laughs> Ancestor. Some paperwork. Mm -hmm. This is all chain mail. <laughs> What's in here? Bathroom. <laughs> no fake plant. Stinging. Yeah, look at it, it's falling to bits. Pooey. So many cobwebs. Everywhere. This one's been abandoned for a while. Oh man, you can hardly go in this room because of the cobwebs, but there's a separate room for the toilet. Look at this. It's, I can't turn it around, there's just too many cobwebs, but it's them at some sort of camp. Camp, yeah. camp Granada. Look at them there. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Tent and stuff. Maybe I can turn this footage around. There you go. <laughs> That's nice. Look at the details on the ceiling. Some snowy scene there. Yeah, so I'm probably outside. We've got like, I don't know what bird that is, but what's this in? Lovely lake. It looks cracked. Wow, yeah, all the way through. What a shame. Stained glass. They had such a beautiful view here as well. Some Scotch whiskey on the table, cigarettes, <laughs> some more old pictures, more cobwebs. <laughs> I love this window, well, this door. It's so overgrown. Can't even get out there anymore. Is that ground level? Uh, the balcony, okay. yeah. It's another one of those places where every step you take, you got to look if you're going to walk into a cobweb. Look at this. He lives in there. It's alive as well, mind. A minute ago, he was just moving his legs. Oh, that's what's creating these big cobwebs in these places, man. Oh. 
We wanted to see one and that's what it is. Right, so back into the billiards room and see what else we can find for this house because it goes up and down. Maybe we go upstairs first and then make our way all the way down. Someone's just slammed the door and tried to come in. I've never seen one this old. It's really cool to see. This is like maybe some sort of kids' games room. Look at the lampshade. Old radio. Like a fake gun over here. Motorbike. What the hell? I thought that was going to be adults, but it's children. Like a marching band or something. Look at that, a diploma for a dog. <gasps> 1912. That is a super old record player. <laughs> Some more family pictures. The pictures here are all so old. Radio Hoover Electrolux. The sun's just out there keeping an air out. I don't think the guy's gonna come in, but hopefully, he doesn't try and seal the door. What's this? Hayden and New. Really nice. This corner just looks. Really nice. Let's do this end quickly before we go that way. This artwork. Oh, what a kitchen. Jars, empty jars. I wonder if this was the main kitchen. Doesn't seem like it would be. from the 60s. <gasps> Cacao, tea, some tiny little pasta, I've never even seen that type before. Wow, 
This place is a huge bedroom. What a nice bedroom. Thought we'd see it. Mats, rugs, a pair of shoes that don't even look in bad nick. Trip. <laughs> yeah, we're a little bit on edge now, so <laughs> it's a bit annoying, but at least we can still see everything. It's lucky he didn't come in. What did he do? He just, I think he was just testing if the door was open and then he like slammed it shut. He could have been just, he might have just been a neighbour, he might not even do anything else apart from that. Look at this. Those are papers and magazines in here. Church bells again, goes off like Every quarter of an hour. Look in that room behind you. Storage. This is pretty much is their attic now, isn't it? Yeah. This cobwebs strung to everything. Pictures. You tripped. She's lost her face. Oh, this baby moves it. What? Oh, yeah. Just jars and stuff over there. More cockroaches. Oh my gosh, <laughs> another storage room. 1991. Loads of picture frames and chairs and a really old fridge. End room. Cool. That's all. Nice though. This is a strange little bedroom. Yeah, the floor's giving way now. Old timer. Can't imagine being able to drive that thing. That is a cool car. What look at me. <sighs> oh yeah, all the plasters fell off. Yeah, it looks pretty wet actually. And table. It is, it's a creepy one. I think I'll, you'd have to like climb into bed literally. So this is like a little spare bedroom I guess. Probably use it as storage. Okay. I don't really want to do this but I'm gonna. <laughs> Freaking stinks in it. I'm going to land on my head. Hmm. Small. Water tank. Uh, I don't know what that is and I don't know why anyone would sit there. Actually, that isn't even a seat. What is that? It's like a bucket that looks like a seat. Yeah, not a lot else up there. Let's go back downstairs. It's 
wind is going to be. Yeah, I wonder if this is one of the original doors in. Yeah. Hey, look. It's not as big as I expected, though. Room. Just cold storage, yeah, definitely. That's weird, isn't it? Oh my god, mate, look how many bugs are in there like you've never seen. Oh, yeah, it's always like that. It's disgusting. Have we had a ladder to get up and down from there? Wow. Oh, my of course, it's those props that just prop and seal. I think this is probably my favourite location, yeah. yeah. Check this back room down here. Look at all these weapons. Oh yeah. Don't put Gurkha's knives on Jeez. All oh, these weapons everywhere. <laughs> oh, trying to be quiet when you do something like that. Storage. Look at this. Key to the Pope's house. Weird picture that is. Creepy. Mm. What? What the hell's that? And then she's just typing. Looks weird, doesn't it? I did for a second before it was like some alien on like a stretcher. Kick man off the pledge. I can actually see that the wall ends there, otherwise I'd be going to have a look. <laughs> we love a tunnel. And look at the ladder. It's not fed too well. I don't know what this room is down there. Oh, it's a workshop. All sorts of tools and stuff. Wow. This is crazy. This is definitely the best spot we've done so far. Yeah. Everything's still left. No vandalism even. <sighs> Look at that horse and car wheels. But he needed all this for the massive garden there. Yeah. Oh my god, Jess. Look. Another basement. How can it go down again? Mate, this is going down deep, mate. This is a tinkerer's dream. What is that? There's a wheat you need him. Spinter. Some sort of oven or something. wine barrels and stuff. Wow. When you come in, you come in at like a higher level. The main doors are actually like two stories up. <sighs> Do you hear that? Woman's voice. These big branches. Oh my god, Jess, we've hit the jackpot. Miniature. Open it. I think the roof's about to come in in here, mate. Oh my god. Oh, look at it. It's actually in good condition. That's crazy. Look, this one's a soft top. Wow. It's like a mad old beetle looking car. That's insane. They're just forever entombed in here. This looks, this is a lovely scene through here as well. in there anymore the spiders have taken over. Wow look at the front of it. 
He's a beaut. <gasps> wow, these are some of the oldest cars we've found. Oh, that massive barn of them. Yeah, that was incredible. So we're gonna go up there after. We're gonna go and film the rest of the building first, aren't we? Here's the kitchen. Look at that. Wow. It's a beautiful kitchen. It's the kitchen. Here's the main kitchen. Did you see that one upstairs? No, I didn't see it. It's really small. I knew it couldn't be the main kitchen. Well, they even have a single sewing machine in the, in the kitchen, man. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Look how overgrown it is. It's almost like a farmhouse, isn't it? Yeah. That is probably one of the nicest pictures. Got the little freezer section at the top with rubber gloves in it. <laughs> Plates are left. Huh. That's well old school. There's a lot of stuff in this house that I've just never seen before. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That is. Another fridge here. I didn't even see that. I love these old fridges. What's this? Just a little in between sort of room. Nice lamp. Wow, look at that. Still plugged in. Uh, what the hell, man? <laughs> Lobster. There he is. Jesus, JC. My man, like JC, aren't I? This room, it's a living room. Wow. That's sweet. Yeah. Oh, kids painting on the floor. Art attack. Yeah. <laughs> This is a beautiful abandoned house, this one. Boom camp. <laughs> That's where you go. <laughs> and another TV. I just want to have a look back here, because it looks like there's like another weird basement thing back here. I'll let us them playing football, mind. Oh, it's just a little... Uh -huh. Oh yeah, look, that's where we went down. Under the... That's the cold shoe. Oh yeah. Right, so it's time to head back into the basement and out the back. To see what we can, we can see out there and have a look at the back of the house as well. So here we are. We've got a whisper now though. There's another car there. <sighs> wow. Well overgrown, look at the car. So back inside, now we're gonna take you out the front and show you. Front of the house. Here we are on the outside. Sorry about the beep. It really doesn't look as big as it is from the road. Most of it's down it's there. Yeah. Can see it back there. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the culprit. I don't know what's in there. God, yeah, look at the size of it. 
Wow. Oh, look at it out here. There's the house. Two Italian urbexes just turned up too. <laughs> That's pretty good timing. Got it to ourselves and now they've got it to their selves. Oh, that's nice. So that is the end of an incredible explore in Italy. That's definitely my favorite location yet. Yeah, me too. So far on the trip. That was amazing. The cars as well. Phenomenal, completely untouched as well. Mm -hmm. Everything that was intact. Amazing. Amazing, but thank you all for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next episode of Italy Road Trip. Yeah. Yeah. We've literally just turned around from the house and this is the other direction. Look at these you. mountains. I swear wherever we go, these mountains are just behind it's just us. just Switzerland staring at us all the time. <laughs> I really want to go over there. Look at them, the clouds is like cutting off the top.